Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back if you've been here before, but if you are new here, my name is Karina and make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Today is not my typical post day, today is a bonus video, I typically post on Sundays at the same time, 11, 11 a.m. and if you are new here welcome i hope you get whatever you need out of today's video now let's get right to it currently i am in my pool room i have showed you guys this room before last summer i did um shampoo some cushions in this room it was a disaster then it's a disaster now but i am sick and i am tired of it so it is time to completely declutter reorganize and you know clean up this room now at the end of this video, when I'm done with this room, hopefully in the next two weeks or so, I'm going to come in here and deep clean these windowsills and possibly the sauna needs to, you know, it needs a good wipe out, even though it does not work right now. We do plan to have it fixed in the future, so I still want to maintain it and keep it nice for when we do have the electricals fixed in the sauna you know, it'll still be in really good condition. Now, as for the hot tub here, it doesn't work and we don't want it to work. It's just really hard to have removed right now. So it's kind of just wasted space and we've been piling things on top of it and that hasn't really been productive thing. So I'm going to try to keep stuff off of that as much as possible. Now, we are going to be putting up some new shelves and we will also be putting together like a pool toy organizer so stay tuned for that i'm super excited <laughs> Okay, you're probably wondering, like, how do you organize, Karina? How do you declutter? So, I don't know. I'm just going to try to maybe explain that process to you of how I break it down in my head when I'm doing a project like this. Because it can be very intimidating if you're not used to doing things like this. It can be really intimidating walking, to a, walking into a room that is filled with all of your stuff and it is literally thrown everywhere it it's even sometimes I get overwhelmed by it but my motivation to get these kinds of projects done is that I 
don't do well in chaos. You know how some people can thrive in chaos. I used to thrive in chaos and I'm no longer like in a survival mode in my life. I can't do chaos including clutter. That's like chaos for me. But anyway, that's my motivation to getting these kinds of things done. Back to how I do this process. So when I walk into a room like this, the first thing I will do is take the things that I think do not belong in that space out of that space. I don't necessarily go put it into the space that it belongs in right away. I will put it in a pile, so to speak, a pile system, but I will put that type of pile in another room as close to the basement as possible. Like I'll put all of that stuff by the basement because most of that will end up going there and then I'll sort through the rest. So pile system, I'll remove everything out of that room that I'm organizing and decluttering and put that in a pile somewhere else. Second step is to remove all of the trash and at the same time I will pile the trash in a pile. <laughs> so pile system again. And then I will make another pile of everything that is to stay in this room. All of the stuff that needs to, you know, go outside. That is how I did this system for this room. <laughs> So I just wanted to take a second here to officially introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. My name is Karina. Um, this is obviously my channel, Karina Cleans, and I truly want to say thank you. Thank you for being here. If you are new here, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope that you stick around. And for my returning subscribers, Thank you a trillion times. We are at officially 400 subscribers. I cannot believe that. I know that might seem silly to some people. They're like, oh, 400 subscribers. Uh. But you know what? That matter it matters to me because it's 100 more subscribers than I had last month. 
it's a goal that I met and I couldn't have done that without you guys. So let's push it to 500 by the end of this month. That would be like the coolest thing ever. Again, thank you all so much for being here and I hope you truly feel welcomed here. Even though this is a small channel, I do have some of the nicest people here. That's the type of people that I want to attract is genuine and positive human beings. So if you're one of them, don't forget to become a part of this community here and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. And this is the pool organizer that I was talking about. I got this off of Amazon, so I will have it linked in the description down below. Now, I have a lot of like pool floaties and like pool noodles and I don't have anywhere to put them so I was on the hunt for not only a good pool toy organizer but one that was also budget friendly because some of the ones that I was looking at on Amazon I don't know for me personally an organizer that is PCV piping essentially that's pretty much what it is and a net shouldn't be so expensive. I finally found this one. It was the perfect size for what I needed and it got the job done. I will let you know how it holds up over time, but if you're in need of something like this, it does have wheels so you can roll it around. They have like little locks. It has three outside pockets, two on one side and one on the other. I will have it linked down below if you're interested in this. I absolutely love it. I might honestly even buy another one just to put like beach chairs in and stuff because you can like take this outside on the porch and then put it back in or put it in your shed or whatnot when you're finished with it so you don't have you know your pool noodles hanging around on your porch in the sun getting ruined because that's what happens to a lot of my floaties is they just stay in the pool because we don't have anywhere to put them and then you know they get they get ruined and that's just how it goes. So hopefully this resolves that issue. <laughs> The vacuum that I'm mainly using in this room, because it is so bad, I am using my most powerful vacuum, which is my Dyson V11 outsize vacuum. I am using a couple of different attachments to get the job done. Obviously the main spin brush head, and then my crevice tool is a big, big help in this project. 
I'm literally just vacuuming the hot tub cover. I don't even care. It was so, so dusty and dirty. I think I sneezed like four or five times while doing this. Now, I did not tackle this all in one day. That's why you see all of my outfit changes. This did take me about three or four days. I day I did my pile system and then I realized that I needed a couple of things like shelves and organizers and I really just had to gather my thoughts and think about what I had and what I you know needed to put into a space that would work and this is what I came up with so it took me a couple of days so I don't want you to have unrealistic expectations of yourself when you're doing a large project like this it might take you a while it, it might take you a couple of hours it might take you a couple of days sometimes it might take you a couple weeks and I have even worked on projects that have taken me a month or two just because I don't have six seven hours a day to dedicate to a large project I only have you know 30 minutes this week 40 minutes next week so you get what you can done when you can get it done that's what I always say. You do what you can. And that's it. Don't compare yourself to anything except yourself. You should only be competing against you. Now, what I have in the mop bucket here is like a teaspoon of powdered Tide, one spray of Dawn Just Soap, and then I put Bissell Hardwood Scent, um, hard wood floor sanitizer in my bucket just like a little splash that's optional I just like to know that my floors are like getting sanitized at the same time and the painting project I am so excited I am going to be sharing that in just a second here so stay tuned for that So if you're new here, um, you've probably never seen this before, obviously you're new here. <laughs> 
This is the staircase going up to my library. Now, this overlooks my living room and my dining room, and it's also my office. It's where, you know, I sit down and edit my videos, it's where I keep all of my important paperwork, yada, 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 what you would normally keep in an office. And the spindles here are what the staircase and the floor color used to be. We moved into this house about three years ago now. We moved in, um, like, I want to say at the beginning of 2021 we moved in, but we closed on the house in November 2020. And we completely had the floors redone before we, we moved in. And we left these, um you know, this color because we knew that we were going to paint them. I just didn't expect to be living here for so long before actually getting to this project. So it is well overdue, well, well overdue. It is time and I'm so excited for this to be done. Now this is only part one. You guys will be getting part two, maybe in next, not this upcoming Sunday's video, but the following Sunday's video, I will try to have part two out for you.
once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall So this is what we have so far. Still the primer. I didn't film doing this or the last set over here. This is all finished as well. I did not film that, but I'm still showing you now. So this is just primer. We still have to come back and paint this. Hopefully it's only going to take one coat because I did a really thick coat of primer. I still obviously have to prime and prep this set of stairs and I'm not sure if I want to paint this door white or leave it the natural wood. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that just yet. I'm going to leave that for last because I don't know if I'm going to like how the natural wood looks with you know, the white spindles and the gray things. And then I have a dark wooded bookcase here. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like the color combinations or if it's even going to mesh well, because I wanna do these walls up here in the library like a very light blue, like white, but with like a tiny smudge of blue. Now, this right here, this I am going to be painting white. So we'll see. I don't know how all of the woods are going to mesh well together. We'll see because they had this color wood mixed with a darker oak with, these are the kitchen cabinets. They're like a super dark oak. And then they had more of a light natural wood archways same with these doors here they're the same color as this so i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna you know do that just yet we'll figure it out but this is a start i'm very very excited definitely needed that primer because the wood color is still bleeding through a little bit even with this primer and this is really good primer but I know that it works and that it'll come out good because this is the same primer and the same color paint that we used on our other staircase. So I know that it'll turn out okay, but it's still bleeding through. It's so crazy. It must have been a really good wood stain that they put on these a long time ago. But yeah, hopefully part two next week.
So in just a second here, I am going to be sharing a life-changing stain remover hack. Now, I got this from somebody else. I did not make this myself. It is not a DIY or anything like that, but it is definitely life-changing, so stay tuned for that. It'll be coming up here in just a second. Okay, so the reason I am going to be sharing this stain remover hack with you guys is because my son decided to jump in a gigantic mud puddle in his brand new, I mean not even a week old, sneakers. So, my hack here is I am going to be taking baking soda and peroxide i'm going to be mixing it into almost a paste consistency so first i'm just going to be scrubbing it down with some laundry detergent and dawn dish soap just to get the you know the top layer of dirt off but really where the magic is going to happen is with that combination so you're going to mix it together into almost a paste consistency and scrub it on there really good now i let mine sit overnight obviously because it needed to really soak in there and get to work um you can use this on other stains and just you know scrub it on and then throw it into the washer like you would normally This is them completely dry. They did not come out, you know, extremely perfect. There's still a stain or two, but comparatively, they're pretty good. I don't think I would have been able to get a lot of those stains out of these sneakers without the baking soda and the peroxide. That little stain hack definitely did a great job here. I mean, these shoes would have been completely ruined otherwise, not even wearable. Well, we're at the end of this video here, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.